Hello again. My name is Joe. I am the Digital Astronomer. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. Today I want to talk about a new feature in PhD2. It is called multi-star guiding. And what I want to do is show you a little bit of how, how this great feature has improved my guiding on my Skywatcher HEQ5. Now, if you're familiar with the HEQ5, one of its characteristics is that it sort of prefers shorter exposure times. And this happens on this kind of mount. Um, I really didn't know that until I was watching a video by Queeve, the Lazy Geek, and he introduced me to this concept of multi-star guiding with PhD2. I want to show you my first experiment with it. I want to show you how it's made a great difference in my guiding. So stick around. All right, let me start, and I'm just going to show you my finished uh, picture here of the monkey, monkey head nebula. And I want you to notice I've got pretty good stars here. They're, they're small, they're round, um, and, and these are pretty good-looking stars. Now, I've actually added in these refraction spikes in um, post-processing, but um, th this is a much better result than I normally get. Let me show you why. Um, I'm going to go over here and show you one of my previous logs uh, from PhD2. This is in Log Viewer. This is looking at my guiding. This was back on uh, the 22nd of December. And you can see my total RMS for this total of one hour and th uh, three minutes here uh, was 1.57. That's not very good guiding. Now, um, I've worked on that. Sometimes I could get that down into uh, the 120s. Uh, sometimes I would even get it down, you know, just a little above one, maybe 1 1.4, you know, 1.04, 1.05, but really was not getting very good guiding. And I had been trying everything to fix this, okay? I've been working on the balance of my mouth. I've tried making sure I didn't have any cords that were dragging and really was not getting a very good result at all. Then last week or a couple weeks ago, I watched a video by Queeve the Lazy Geek and he showed me um, on that video and showed everybody on that video that PhD2 has got in their development uh, builds, they have got a new feature called multi-star um, multi guiding. And basically what this allows you to do is sort of overcome um, some of the inherent problems with a mount like the HEQ5. The HEQ5 really prefers shorter um, exposure times. Now, the problem with that is that you're always sort of chasing after the seeing. So proper PhD2 guiding has the, 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 the normal thinking has been in order to balance out and even out the seeing conditions, you want to take longer exposure. So you want to stay up above a second and a half up to around three seconds or so. But that really gives you very poor guiding with the HEQ5, at least in my experience. What Queeve had pointed out was that with this new um, multi-star guiding, basically what happens, it allows you to look at multiple stars, and that balances out the seeing, and it works really, really good with um, an amount like the HEQ5. So let me just go over, I accidentally I closed my uh, log, but let me just um, reopen this and I'll show you the difference. I'm gonna actually show you some video here in a second of my capture, but let me just open it up and show you my last guiding log, okay? Um, give me one second here. Okay, I've reopened up PhD2 Log Viewer. This is my last log from January um, uh, 
oh, I forget what date, January 22nd. Look at this total MR, uh, total RMS, 0.83. Now, I'm, I want to make sure you understand, the only difference was that I moved over to use this multi-star uh, PhD guiding. That's the only difference. The mount was set up exactly the same. Uh, everything on it was exactly the same. Um, and, and I went through the exact same process of getting my um, um, polar alignment and everything. The difference was that when you're using this um, multi-star alignment with an HEQ5, it made a huge difference. Let's go over and let me show you some of the capture video so that you can see it in action. Okay, the audio on my video from the capture of the other night uh, was not working. So I've kind of changed plans here. And what I've done is loaded up uh, PHD2. And what I've got here loaded up, you'll see this is version 2.69 dev3. And what that means is this is the development um, um, release. And so the way that you get this is if you go over here to, to openphdguiding.org, go to download, under their development snapshots, you can download the latest development versions. Now, I warn you that very often um, these are not the most stable releases. Honestly, I haven't had any problems with um, the development releases from PhD, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But they can be, you know, by their very nature, being beta versions, they could be a little bit quirky. But in order to get this feature, that's what you've got to do. So um, if you if you go over here and click on development snapshot, and then you're going to go uh, version 2.69 dev3 download, uh, depending on you have Windows, Mac, or or and what um, uh, which one of these you need, you download this. Okay, what I did here was I went ahead and loaded it in. This is just with the um, uh, simulators on because it's daylight right now. So I've got the simulator turned on, but I just want to show you how to enable the feature. To enable the multi-star uh, guiding feature, you go over here to the brain, go under guiding, and click on use multiple stars. And what that will look like when you're running it is this. Okay, let me go ahead and, and minimize this and I'll show you. This is the video that I took on uh, January 22nd. And let me just, uh, I'm gonna start this and just let it run for a little bit. And you can kind of see, uh, whoops, I, that uh, uh, went back over, just give it a second here. Okay, and so you can see what this looks like. Let me just uh, pause this video and I'll put, point out a couple things. Um, here is, just like always, this is the main star that I'm guiding on. And the way that you, you know, I selected it was just go up to um, tools, auto select stars, and see it will pick out a star. Select that star, and then once you're guiding on it, all right, whoops, that's going to try to start a, a uh, try to start a uh, calibration thing. So let, let me go ahead and get out of that. But once you've done that, you can see this is the star I'm guiding on. Here are the other stars that it's bringing into the equation here. And so what it basically does is then it averages out the movement. And look what that's done. That's given me far, far, far better guiding. 0 0.90 um, for my total RMS, which without making any other adjustments, without going in and trying to tune up the mount anymore, um, that is a significant increase. And that's why on this last picture that I took um, of the, um, uh, of well, I can just go over here and show you my screensaver. This is my screen. This is the last image that I took. I made it my screensaver. The stars are much smaller, um, much, much better. So my advice is if you want to try to get better guiding, especially if you're using something along the lines of a Skywatcher HEQ5, check out this um, multi-star guiding. It really helped out a lot. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, click on subscribe and like and share. And then um, I look forward to seeing you back here next week.
Just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please help support me by clicking on thumbs up and share. Thank you.